menopause, it's a natural life event. However, even though it's natural, it doesn't mean that it's not without potential consequences. And I like to liken it to pregnancy and delivery. That's very natural. It's essential to the propagation of human species. However, you can die in childbirth. Now, you're not generally gonna die in menopause, but some women are really quite miserable. And it all depends on the amount of hormones that are left. If a woman naturally goes into menopause, the typical age being 51 and a half years of age, and the ovaries are still present, meaning they have not been surgically removed, many women still make enough hormones and they feel fine. And so we don't need to give them therapy for a natural condition. However, just because they enter into natural menopause does not mean those ovaries are going to make enough hormones. And if a woman has her ovaries removed, or if she goes into premature menopause, then those women tend to be at increased risk for several problems, including osteoporosis and an increased risk for heart disease. Now, about half of all women flash or have hot flashes. They can be mild, moderate, or severe. For those women that have severe hot flashes, particularly if they disrupt sleep and sense of well-being, in general, those women need hormone therapy. And for most women, the benefits of hormone therapy far outweigh the risk. So if you're a woman under age 60 to 65 and or you're within 10 years of menopause and you're having bad menopausal symptoms like hot flashes, night sweats, vaginal dryness, postmenopausal bone loss, then for most of those women, the benefits far outweigh the risk. I like to liken it to other hormonal situations. For instance, if your pancreas stops making insulin, you develop type 1 diabetes and need insulin replacement to stay alive. If you're like one in eight women who loses thyroid function, you have to take a thyroid pill every day to replace that. So when it comes to menopause, it's not so obvious or abrupt unless it's surgically or chemically induced. But if your body does not make any estrogen, it's never gonna make it again. And there are specific consequences to that low estrogen state. And the consequences to being low in estrogen can include hot flashes, although it depends on how your brain is wired. Not all women flash. Bone loss, at least one in two women after age 50 rapidly loses bone in the five to seven years after menopause. And then there's genital atrophy. At least 80% of women can have up to 80% of a shrinkage and thinness and atrophy of the lower half of the vagina and the base of the bladder. Now that can be treated with local treatments like local estrogen creams or tablets or rings. But if a woman has systemic symptoms as well as bone loss and vaginal atrophy, we would recommend hormone therapy.